What is up guys, so I got a request to compare the LG G7 to the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9S. Uh, so, uh, both these phones are actually pretty close in price. Uh, the 9S is around 200 bucks and you can find uh, the G7 for around 200 and as even as uh, 150. Um, you know the price uh, fluctuates from time to time, but let's go ahead and get into this comparison uh, There are reasons why I guess you would get the 9s over the g7 even though I think uh, the g7 is the better buy here But let's go ahead and get started. So with the hardware you have both uh, a glass and metal design or excuse me uh, Glass design on both uh, the metal is actually not metal on the 9s. It's actually uh, plastic uh, but uh, they both feel really premium uh, they're both uh, well the 9s is a pretty heavy phone and some people like that I just like the weight of the g7 it's not super heavy but it has a nice weight to it but some people just like that really heavy weight it just feels more premium to them um, but both excellent designs on both as you can see with the camera module setup uh, as you can see you have the more trendy design which I'm not a huge fan of especially on this 9s uh, but <clears throat> You have a quad camera setup on the 9S and a dual camera setup on the G7. Uh, you have a single firing speaker on both USB Type C and a headphone jack on both as well. Uh, you also have your volume buttons and power uh, button, but you have the Google Assistant button on the G7, which I think is a uh, uh, pretty handy from time to time. So as far as design wise, I kind of actually just like the G7's design a little bit more. Uh, the camera module design on the 9S really kills it for me sometimes it's not that it's ugly it's just the the ring around it i think just makes it look really weird because it looks like the pixel 4 but i don't know it just looks kind of weird to me uh the camera module but uh it is uh splash proof the 9s and it is uh ip68 for the uh, g7 so you can actually get the g7 wet without it breaking uh, you can splash the 9s but i i wouldn't recommend it uh, you know submerging in water because it might break so you have IPS display on both of these guys the big difference with the display is that uh, you just have a massive display on the uh, 9 a uh, pro or 9 s it's a 6.67 inch display it's just massive uh, compared to the uh, g7 6.1 inch display now the difference is you have a 1080p display with a 395 ppi on the 9s and you have a 1440p display on the g7 with a 564 ppi basically what that means is that the g7's display is just extremely sharp and um, it just looks really good when you're watching 1440p content as opposed to 1080p content with that lower pixel density now don't get me wrong the screen is really great on both of these phones uh, but I really just like higher resolution dis uh, displays I've always loved 1440p displays but the 1080p display is just fine on here for uh, you know most uh, normal people so it's not a huge issue but yeah if you want a just a massive phone for this price point uh, the 9s is just super solid it's a really big phone but if you want something a little bit more compact then the g7 is definitely going to be the way to go and it's a higher resolution all right so software wise you have android 9 on the g7 it will be getting android 10 this year though and on the 9s you have android 10 uh with me ui 11 so if you just want android 10 right out of the box i guess that's a reason why you would go with the uh, 9s uh here's another big difference is the processor so you have these Snapdragon 845 on the G7 and you have the Snapdragon 720G on the 9S and um, if you're a gamer you're going towards the G7 here uh, Fortnite will run on high on this chip uh, set and they both have 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage on the base model but when it comes to gaming you, you'll be able to play on medium settings like on Fortnite with the 720G processor uh, so you know that's the kind of difference here so if you're like I said if you're a gamer um, you're going towards the G7 for just the higher performance and the chip is just slightly uh, snappier when launching applications and stuff like that uh, so let's go ahead and talk about a little bit more uh, specs here so you do have micro SD support on both of these guys which I absolutely love and um, the G7 has NFC and you do not have that on the Note 9 uh, which I thought uh, they were going to um, include that you have the infrared port but they opted out for nfc again because the note a pro didn't have it as well so 
very very uh strange that they did that but it does not have it for those mobile payments uh, which is unfortunate and as far as the speaker uh the speaker on the g7 is still on b the speaker on the uh, 9 pro is fine uh but it's just nowhere near as loud or as good in quality as a g7 speaker uh, so it's pretty much undefeated in that area still uh, now the fingerprint scanner on both I actually really love where they place the fingerprint scanner on the uh, 9s uh, mostly because it just feels uh, just a little more natural to me on the side uh, but that's really a personal preference whether you like it on the back uh, like the G7 or on the side it really comes down to you uh, so as far as cameras you have a 16 megapixel standard on the G7 and a 16 megapixel ultra wide uh, as well you have a 4k video recording 30 or 60 fps along with the selfie camera at 8 megapixels that shoots in 1080p so you do have more cameras on the 9s a 48 megapixel wide, 8 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel macro, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. So using 4K 30 FPS, 60 megapixel selfie camera. So uh, you will get more detailed shots on the 9S, is what I know. Notice uh, I just like the outdoor shots a little bit more. Uh, but as far as indoor shots, I didn't see a huge difference uh, from both of these phones. Uh, so you're getting a great camera with both. Uh, but if you just have to have that macro and the depth sensor and stuff like that, uh, you're definitely uh, going to be satisfied. Uh, with the 9s here it's a pretty decent camera phone uh, for this uh, budget price point uh, so here is the next biggest difference here so you have a 5020 milliamp battery uh, on the 9s with 18 watt fast charging so you're getting around at least two days maybe even three days if you're a light user uh, around 10 hours of screen on time uh, with the 9s which is absolutely nuts uh, so the g7 has a 3000 milliamp battery with 18 watt fast charging but you also have wireless charging on the g7 as well uh in which you know the 9s does not have it lacks that uh, which is very convenient to me but on the g7 you're looking at around six hours seven hours of screen on time so again big difference in battery life if you don't like to charge your phone a lot then the 9s is going to be excellent for you so that's pretty much it guys those are the big differences what do you guys think which one are you guys going with and i'll catch you guys uh, in the next one